Ooh, I had to delete some shit off my phone. I only had 44 seconds left of recording. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just giving y'all an update on my first week using the Overtime Athletes Strength Formula. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Anyway, first of all, I'd like to show you the newest addition to the family. Say hello. Hi. Little plyo box. Just put the motherfucker together, just saying it's hot. Must be like 40 degrees in this fucking joint. It's hot, I'm sweating, but I did it. Hopefully when I jump on it, it doesn't break. Because <laughs> um, I'm pretty good at it would work. But anyway, yeah, so I'll, um, I just thought I'd show you that. I've got a little bit of gym equipment there. Just a couple of things. Squat rack with bench press. Pull up, but that's really all you need. But I want to get, I want to upgrade. I want to get a real good squat rack, like a big rack system. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So down to business. All right. So I think the first week was pretty, pretty good. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, athletic strength formula. Bruh. Now I really dig how you have to do. You do your corrective stretches, then you do a nice warm up. Um, which is a dynamic warm up, and then you do some speed or power work. I really dig that. The speed or power work is fucking great. So there's a lot of plyometrics, and then um, so the first. Let me just get all this shit out. I feel so professional with my file. I need to keep track of this shit so I know what's going on. Something that I don't usually do. But seeing as I'm building strength, I want to keep the track of it. So day one was the bend. I did a 100 kilo deadlift as my 80% of my one rep max. Pretty good, pretty good. I haven't done 100 kilos since I fucked my back last. But there's a bit of a difference this time. Push, now this is where I really struggle, bench press. This is why I want to get 225. That's, that's my goal is 225. Just sounds so good. Rolls off the tongue. So currently, so 225, so it's 100 kilos. So currently, I'm at 65. 65, all right? Now the dude I was working out with, he did 85. <laughs> so I was way off his shit, right? Um, and I was struggling. Um, so that's that. Uh, so that was the first two days. Then day three. Day three was the squat. And this is where I impressed myself. <laughs> now, so um, we did a 110 kilo squat. That's three reps, two, not one rep max. 110 kilos. Um, eccentric squat was 80. And squat off the pins. So you just sort of like have a little bit of a, you know, like obviously you stand here and then you do your squat and your body, your quad goes down like that there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you start off like this on pins and then you just um, accelerate out. <laughs> so yeah, we did 140 kilos. 140, the bar was bending, there was three plates on each side. Oh, I felt like the biggest beast. Even though we only doing like quarter squat. <laughs> but that's all good. Um, and Romanian deadlift was 100 kilos. Now deadlifts, I've got no problem. It's, it's my grip that fucking lets me down. So I just gotta work on my forearm strength and I can guarantee you that'll go up exponentially. Uh, and day four today was uh, overhead press. So, um, again, my shoulders, because I've had so much trouble with my shoulders in the previous, I didn't, I did the, did a warm up. I didn't do any speed or power work. Instead, I did prehab. So I was just doing shit to strengthen everything. Uh, overhead press for 50 kilos. Right. 50 kilos um, and off pins only 40 kilos but never mind and then there's obviously a few other little little maneuvers but 
so week one, I think went pretty well. A little bit better than I thought when it came to the squat, actually quite a lot. My last previous best was a 90 kilo squat, so I beat it by 20 kilos. But in all fairness, that was six reps. When I did it 90 kilos, I did three reps. Uh, 110, no matter. So next week is a different week. We'll see what happens, but I just thought I'd give you a quick, quick update. It's all about content. So yeah, uh, I'll check in with you guys next week. This time, I'll be on night shift. I'll go back to work tomorrow. First day shift tomorrow. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday is my last day shift. So I'll start again on Monday, and I'll turn into night shifts. Only three nights this round. Which is fine. Alright, thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all next week. Peace.